Hi, welcome to product review by Robojax. In this video, we are going to test and see how this TE3AC 2 to 3 cell LiPo balance charger, which can charge up to 1 to 8 is nickel metal hydrate, 25 watts, and up to 3 ampere AC charger. So, this is the rating. It can work between 100 and to 240 volts. So, it's worldwide and any power outlet and it's 25 watts and maximum current that it can sup supply is 3 ampere so let's see they've included the Tamiya and DNT connector this is North American power AC cable and this is a charger it's very compact really we have to see if it can supply 3 ampere it would be amazing and we got a very decent english manual that's good so the charger is very simple so ac power plug here that you can plug in and on this side we have two and three cell battery connector and in here we have three buttons for lithium polymer lithium iron and this is nickel metal hydrate so three lights so let's plug it in so we have three lights so as it says standby so it's standby now let's uh, charge this battery. This is a three cell battery. As you can see it shows 10.9 so the voltage is low. Uh, this is a three cell so we have four wires. And on this we have two terminal here. This is for two cell with three wires three pens and this is for three cell with four pens one is common and then the three is for three cells so when you plug it in all lights will turn on so you insert this and then press this lithium polymer lipo that's the type of battery selected now this is not charging so you have to press it one more time and the light start blinking the long blink so the charge started now if during the charge the wire disconnects this will blink rapidly so it means it is an error once the charge is complete the battery is full this light will start stop blinking so you know the battery is fully charged now let me connect it through this extension cord so I'm plugging it in now press it again solid and then again one more time now this is blinking now let's check the current I'm using the current clamp so on one of the wires let me see 1.5 or 1.52 you see this is the current that currently goes between the device so that was the common if i go to the to the other wire 1.5 or 1.42 so if i go through three wires 1.66 1.7 so the maximum current that I checked with this I cannot exceed the 1.75 so it never reached 1.8 so that's uh, all cells are 1.7 1.68 ampere so 1700 milliampere that's the charge current that I, I see so the, for conclusion that I did not see 3 ampere but 1.7 ampere is the maximum that I could see with the lithium polymer 
Thank you for watching. Please thumb up the video and also share and subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos.